Hey guys, so um, yesterday we talked about uh, movements which can, which uh, you you uh, contain the energy within your body. Now we're going to talk about releasing the energy, okay, and various qigong movements which can help with that, okay. So it's good for overall fitness, martial arts training, but overall fitness as well, okay. Now one thing, um, a lot of people shy away from working out uh, outdoors. You know, the people get freaked out sometimes when they find out that I work out outdoors pretty much all year. There's, there's on days when it's extremely cold, like when we had that the polar vortex and minus 30 degrees uh, Celsius, yeah, okay, I'm gonna stay inside for that. But for the most part, um, I'm outside and there's a few reasons for that. One is that um, things aren't always gonna go your way in life, all right? and by learning to accept some discomfort and deal with it, and not only deal with it, but embrace it, you'll be able to handle other things in life a lot better, okay? Remember, remember something, uh, fitness is not just about losing 20 pounds or, you know, holding a plank longer or getting your deadlift up, okay? It's about being able to live your life better, enhancing every part of your life all the way through, okay? So I just wanted to throw it out there, okay? Don't shy away from you know, the elements, uh, we are born from the elements, we should embrace the elements, okay? It's, 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 it's you know, that's just all there is to it, okay? It's, it's part of who we are, okay? So, let's get to some of these uh, movements here. This first one is called the dragon back, okay? And what we're doing here is that we're bringing our hands back as our hips come forward and then throwing it out. So you see how my hands, there's a little shake at the end. They shake a little bit, see? I want to release the energy now, see? See, and you notice there are many circular motions in these uh, Qigong movements, okay? And that's essential to do this stuff properly, okay? There's an old expression where they say Qigong takes a lot of balls, okay? So there you go. So, and how long you do this is, is optional, but for now, just follow along with me, right? <laughs> okay. Now, another one here is we call rolling the ball. Okay, so you can actually have like a big. Once again, you can decide when to initiate this strike. You can decide that. So there's no hard and fast rule. Every third roll, fourth roll, fifth roll, whatever. You just decide. Okay, when it feels right. And remember, it's this lower hand. This hand comes underneath, out. See? Underneath. Just doing this with my arm, my hip will drive me forward. My other hip will drive me back here to the center. Okay. Remember, you have that release as you come back down. This little snap here. Okay. That's what gives you the uh, power. Right. You see. You've you may have heard of uh, Bruce Lee's one-inch punch, right? So. Kind of this, see, you use a whole lot of snap at the end. See, so you can vary 
how high you bring that, that arm up as well, okay? The main thing is to come back to that center point, okay? Your, your center line, okay? Um, so, uh, we're gonna end it there. There are, of course, many, many moves that you can do, but uh, those three moves are the dragon back, okay? The rolling the ball with the strike, and then this side strike, this side strike. Um, those three uh, work very, very well. Um, don't worry about doing, you know, 10,000 exercises, okay? Work on those three, internalize them, understand the uh, mechanics of the body, the breathing, learn to coordinate them, and uh, make, make it perfect, and uh, that's, that's um, you will start to realize the benefits of the uh, Qigong, okay? And the outdoor exercises, I can tell you that the difference, the, the energies between doing it indoors and outdoors, I'm not, I'm not saying indoor workers are still good, Okay, but outdoor workers for this kind of stuff, um, being in the, in the elements, there, there's nothing quite like it. You know, it really makes a difference, okay? So, anyways, I hope you found this uh, useful. If you'd like to see some more of this kind of stuff, learn more about uh, personal training, please visit my website, www.chriswongfitness.com. Follow me on social media, Chris Wong Fitness, and on Facebook, I am In Home Trainer Oakville, okay? So, talk to you soon, guys.